This story is a reminder that no matter how happy you are in a relationship or with your partner, never allow him or her record you having sex or while you are naked. So this young South African duo were a love item some years back. Their relationship was filled with so much love. It had all the sparkles, the shines that you can imagine because it was highly characterized by the luxurious things of life. Talk about the luxurious vacations, luxurious shopping, all the expensive designer brands. They never had hesitated to buy this expensive brand, flaunt them at will. At each appearance, you could be sure that you would spot at least two or even more designer brands on them. Talking about expensive designer brands. So the young man is known as Hurtman Temba, while the young lady is known as Sidney Twala. Both of them are Instagram influencers and Hurtman is also a forex trader, one who is well known but has been accused of fraudulent activities. An allegation that he has not really done much to clear his name and reputation over. In the year 2022, the lovebirds got engaged and they also got matching tattoos. Oh my God, it was so beautiful. Many of their fans even adore them more. But then it didn't take long before their ship took a different dimension. Their relationship became topsy-turvy. It is safe to say that this ship is no longer sailing. It is unclear what exactly led to their breakup, but it is widely alleged that Hootman cheated on Sinley by sleeping with his female bestie this very day she put to bed to their baby. And it is also alleged that Hoodman, the car he used to propose to his fiance, was actually not his. It was just used for the likes, for the popularity on the gram. And the, the car was said to have been recovered by the owners after all the paparazzi on the gram. So it is unclear if those things are actually true or if they actually contributed to the breakup. But then they actually did broke up and... Sinele was said to have moved on with her life, something that did not really sit well with Hurtman. And so Hurtman decided to give his ex fiance an unconventional revenge. On Monday, the 20th of May 2024, Sinele woke up to the ex platform buzzing. Her pictures were everywhere, hashtag her name everywhere. It turned out that her ex fiance and baby daddy had exposed her nude videos and tagged it part one of 35. I may not know much about South African laws, but I do know that revenge porn is a crime in so many countries. And I do hope that it is in South Africa as well. And I hope that the full wrath of the law will come heavy on Hootman for what he's done. Nobody should be condoned for revenge porn. Nobody should do this to another person. And I do hope that this this will serve as a lesson to so many women that no matter how happy you are in a relationship, never let your partner to video you naked for any reason whatsoever. Now, Hurtman's action had been widely condemned by men and women alike, and so many people have expressed how disappointed they are at what he did. But come on, what do you expect from someone who's been accused of fraud? That is what so many other people are saying. It must have been a very traumatizing experience for Sinile. And I can't wrap my head around this whole thing. Why would a man do this to the mother of his child? I mean, even if she had no child for him, the fact that they once shared love is enough to deter him from such actions. But no, apparently he threw off his thinking heart and decided to throw caution to the wind. Do you think that she deserved justice in all of this that's happening to her at the moment? Do you think that the law should take its focus? Put your thoughts in the comment section. I would really love to read it and engage. In the meantime, guys, take care of yourself, take care of your emotions, take care of your mental health, be kind to yourself, be kind to the people around you, and always stay safe. I remain Dorcas Ige Oluka, and I love you guys. If you're coming across my page, my videos for the very first time, do well to follow me for more.